Thank you. As I grew up, I realized that I did not hear as well as other people, and I didn't like to admit it. I wouldn't really tell anybody about it. When, when I have a conversation in a group of people, I have to repeatedly ask someone, what did they say? You can't imagine how that just is embarrassing. <laughs> but I didn't give up. As the older I got, it seemed the more determined I was. This may need some salt. I don't like the first time I ever heard of a cochlear implant was in a television story. At that time, I thought, maybe someday and Dr. Tusi, she was the first name that came up. She's really full of life, and so you could just tell when you see her how impaired she is by not being able to communicate. So this is the case for a lot of our um, older adult patients that they find that their hearing just uh, deteriorates over the years and they're more and more isolated. Sometimes I would just rather stay home than to not be able to enjoy the friends that I'll be with. Did a hearing test and that did show that she had no uh, useful hearing at all in her right ear and her left ear. She had a severe to profound hearing loss. There's a microphone, there's a processor that receives the sound and then codes it into a signal that can be transmitted to the electrode in the inner ear. I hear that. Um, I think that's a six. What am I hearing? I'm hearing voices. How does mine sound? One of the greatest joys of my practice is helping people to hear again. This is amazing. It really is. I love seeing patients who are struggling to hear who we can really help uh, significantly with this technology, which I think is just fantastic. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to them, I would say thank you so much. This was an experience that I never thought I'd have. It has been a wonderful journey. <laughs>